Hi, it's Monica again back with some food tips. Uh, a few products that I basically live on through this diet and think I'll continue to use uh, throughout my life and um, they're quite tasty and actually fills you up and feels like you're eating more and getting more uh, more bang for your buck, so to speak, uh, diet-wise. So number one, I found um, Dempster's whoops, Body-Wise Spread, 50 calories a slice. So if you're buying the Dempster's 100% whole wheat and you're only allowed to have one slice and that's 100 calories, I've compared and contrasted the um, nutrition facts. So in these, again, body-wise bread, you can have two slices, whether they have it on the diet sheet or not. This is what I've um, established and I've used it and there's been no problem with the bread things. So if you like to have a slice of toast in the morning with an egg on it or whatever, um, that's delicious. I do that. Um, and you can also make a little sandwich, which is good. A full sandwich, believe it or not. Um, there's only a few products that have that. So I I found this after six weeks. So I've been using it. think it's great. And I also um, really enjoy the E.D. Smith um, jams, the ones you're allowed to have. Both of them are delicious, especially the apricot. That's my favorite. I am also using the, I don't know how to say it, Bicel or Bicel. Um, Topping spray, I use it like margarine or butter. I spray a few sprays on my toast and I put my jam on it. Or I spray a few and put it on my um, vegetables. That's been really good. It's, again, that Becel, B-E-C-E-L, um, like the margarine type, but it's a spray form. Really good. Super, I like it a lot. Um, another one that I can't live without, shirataki tofu noodles. Um, basically, totally stink out of the package. Uh, you got to put them in a strainer, wash them, uh, wash them thoroughly, and then it's a uh, ready, ready to go uh, noodle. They taste normal. They don't taste weird, nothing like tofu texture, nothing. Totally normal. Um, from this, I make spaghetti sauce with diced tomatoes and put um, garlic and onions and mushrooms and basically make a spaghetti sauce with either um, chicken pieces if you want to have it more often. Or I have it once, you know, like once in a while with the ground beef in it, the lean ground beef, which is so good. And then I get my bread and I can make a little garlic toast, um, which is really yummy. And I just put butter, that Bicel, Bicel butter, and uh, rub some garlic on it, and it's delicious. So, so far, that's been working out great. And these are $2.49. You're allowed to have half the bag, um, four ounces, um, in one sitting, once a day. It counts as your miscellaneous, okay? And to just so you know that this is four ounces is 20 calories, so it's like nothing. So, super good. Next one, if you miss burritos, tortillas, quesadillas, um, I use the mini ones, may I mind you, La Tortilla Factory. They're super good. Um, I've made chicken, chicken and cheese quesadillas. I've made um, both mock um, burritos and real burritos. So the mock one is the tofu ground beef or the whatever they use in it, some vegetable version of ground beef and also regular ground beef. So I've made um, burritos and um, quesadillas. So good. Um, you can make them either sweet or not. You can you can use it and make like a, some sort of little fruit quesadilla thing. It's actually good. I actually wrap them and make breakfast burritos with egg whites and put some salsa in it. Soup, very good. So, and I also use the mini ones for the mere fact that you're allowed to eat two. So, like I said, it, you know, it's giving you the illusion that you're allowed to eat more and give you more because you can spread it out better throughout the day. So I basically survive on these three items quite frequently. I work all the time and I know people who go to work, you know, it's hard to cook and this might sound gross, but my absolute favorite soup that I've been eating constantly is literally just bean sprouts, celery, and bok choy. I make a homemade, um, chicken stock or I use the Campbell's chicken stock when I'm really lazy. Stick it in there, uh, boil all the, the celery first and then the, throw in the bean sprouts and bok choy. Put two teaspoons of vegeta in it and voila, got good. Four days of soups ready to go and they're delicious and it's basically all water including the stuff that's in it, the bok choy, celery and bean sprouts and the water. So it's really just a bit of the sodium you're getting out of the vegeta. So I eat that a lot and it really makes me full because I make it so it's three cups of water um, in one serving for myself. So that counts as your water as well. So I'm um, kind of toying with the system. I've got a few more things in the works that I've been doing. And uh, so if you have any, any feedback or any of your own ideas, I'd love to hear some recipe ideas. I always want to try something new. I've tried a lot of things in the book, just kind of not to my measure this taste and stuff because I, I make my own and it, it really works well. So 
If you have any ideas, I'd love to hear it. And if you have any questions, otherwise I will uh, keep experimenting and uh, share with you. Anyways, happy cooking.